What's going on guys? This is Weekly Reviews here with Gamer Fusion and today guys we are going to continue on our walkthrough of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Now as you guys remember I was going to be going to 2-6 and 2-7 basically for the boss. Now due to a apparently due to my hard drive apparently my hard drive decided to be stupid when I decided to save the file and when my Roxio decided to try to save it and everything to my hard drive it decided to be stupid and say, okay, yeah, uh, we did save it, but the actual file somehow got corrupted. So, wrap my head around that. So, basically, I lost the original file to the game, and we had to go ahead and restart over. So, if you guys see me collecting puzzle pieces that I originally didn't have, uh, I apologize for that, but, I mean, I had no way of being able to recover the data, because, like I said, it, the file was corrupted at first, so, anyway, I'm not going to worry about it too much, but, anyway, we're in, basically, world level 2-6, and let's go after some of these bananas that I just spawned, there we go, grab the banana coin, there we go, jump, down, up, grab the K, there we go, but... I usually don't have any kind of problems with my Roxio. I guess it was just being like dumbfounded today. Like, I mean, usually whenever I record anything with Roxio or any kind of editing software, uh, I never have any problems like that. So, I mean, I really and truly am sorry uh, that that did happen. And I mean, I do hope that uh, for the rest of the walkthrough, I hope that that never happens again. Because I mean, I really hate. I've heard I've heard people do have a couple problems sometimes when. Uh, transferring different files and stuff from uh, Roxio and certain other things so I mean this is only the first time it's actually happened to me so I'm hoping it won't happen again but anyway so we got that puzzle piece even though we originally intendedly got it in the first recording so anyway like I said we're not gonna worry about it too much anymore we're just gonna move on like it never happened so jump on top of these enemies jump on that one grab those bananas all right and let's go down this vine all right, and the thing you're gonna to want to do, as I just did, is uh, make sure you ring those bells because they're needed to bring down those other vine uh, things. Whoops! There we go. Grab the banana coin and some bananas. Another thing of bananas. Oh my God! Got the O. That one's actually a tricky O right there. All right, go into the barrel, blast right through those things of glass. Awesome. Jump on you. Grab that banana. Jump on you, grab those bananas, and the banana coin. Whoo! Jump on top of you. There we go. Alright. Low jump. There we go. Get that one up. Ah! Alright. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose Dixie. Oh well. We got Diddy now. Diddy! Oh ha! Alright. Pound on the ground. Grab all those bananas. Alright, come on. Come on. Get that last one. There we go. I'm not going to worry about it too much for that last banana coin, but let's move on. Ooh, crap. That's a lot of banana coins. Holy cow. That was crazy. Oh, and I went too late for that in. Dang it. Okay. Oh, my God. Everything's crumbling all around. Okay, jump through the U2. Get there. Swing across. Whee! Awesome. This is a nice level. I like it. I even like the music in it really good. The music's really nice. Alright, so you're going to want to be really careful right here. You're going to want to, do exactly like I did right there, just roll. Like, that was a pure... That was not even instinct. That was just panic. Like, I almost panicked there for a minute. Alright, and... Wow, that's one way to ring a bell. <laughs> Literally. That's one way to ring a bell. A perfect way to ring a bell. Like, I have to give Retro credit for how good they did on the characters on this. Like, I mean, freaking ice owls and penguins that shoot uh, fish for arrows. I mean, that's kind of unique. That's very unique. Not a bad way, but let me get that G. All right, jump up here, jump up here, jump up here, grab onto that bell, and bam! Got us a one-up that brings us up to 50. So, very nice. And we only got the K, O, and the G for the Kong words. And as I said, guys, I'm very sorry that what happened happened. But, I mean, we're just going to we're gonna let it slide. We're going to just move on like it never happened. So, anyway. 
So that was the end of World 2, guys, until we reach up to the boss, which we're going to right now, which is for boss Mountaintop Tussle. Now, also, though, when I was recording also around the time, I decided to go to the Funky Kong shop and grab a couple of these things of banana juice. Now, you don't have to use these things of banana juice, but they give you an extra hit just in case. But we're going to go ahead and just have it just in case for some boss fights. Because, I mean, I have, when I was recording this, I will, I will completely admit it, I failed completely. And why did I press that? There we go. I'm going to wait because I want to use Cranky Kong. There we go. All right. Why did I do that? Dang it. I keep doing that and I don't mean to. All right. So we're going to burst off and we're heading into our boss fight. Okay. We got... S Hi, banana. Really? Uh, That kind of looks a little scary. They look intimidating. Whoo! How dare you break Donkey Kong's bananas. <laughs> and Cranky Kong... Dang it! Why did I do that? Why do I keep doing that? Okay. Okay, so he's going to throw your f his, fre his feathers all the way. I'm about to say, like, feathers or something. Like, I don't even know how to talk today. Like, seriously, what the heck is up with me today? I can't even throw either. Okay. Jump on top of him. You're going to want to throw these eggs just like I did right there. Throw them into him. And when he does this little technique, you want to watch out. Because those claws will hurt. And just dodge these. Okay. And more feathers. This reminds me of first like a little bullet hill almost. Let's see, like he just sends a bunch of those feathers and stuff after you. Okay. This one. Nah, I thought I would reach him from jumping up on one of the other ones. Apparently that doesn't work, though. Darn it! Ah, and I... Alright, we still get you. Gotcha. Alright, grab that other banana. Ha, <laughs> look at us. We're just being real, real semi-pros. Not really. We're not even trying to be pros. We're just trying to show off and everything. Which I shouldn't be showing off because this boss is uh, very intimidating. It's very intimidating. So, anyway, jump on top of that one. Oh, that one time. That time we got him. I thought that wouldn't work, though. Hmm. Well, apparently it does. And we haven't gotten hit yet, but it's going to start getting a little bit harder. So, okay. All right, jump. Ah, dang it. Okay, try that again. Thank you for sending us another one. All right, jump, 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 throw. There we go. All right, grab those bananas before they run away. All right, jump into that barrel. And, oh my God, are you kidding me? He still hit me? I thought I got away quick enough, though. Oh, well, that time I did. All right, run over there. There we go. So now, again, if I did not already mention it to you guys, uh, basically the banana juice lets you take a secondary hit. Like, I believe in Donkey Kong Country Returns, it gave you several more hits than you needed to have. But this one, it just gives you like a third, uh, a third heart, basically. So, but, I mean, I actually like that. I think that's actually preferred. I don't think it should be dumbed down to having it so it was like how the first one was where it was like oh hey you get like 20 of them if you use the banana juice or whatever so all right so it looks like we have we've really ticked him off because now he's sending it feathers all over the place okay and we have no barrels or anything so i have no idea what's going to happen right here okay what is he going to do oh okay ah yeah, that's that's one other thing you can do. If you have any of these guys uh, actually come down, or if you have any of them with just helmets like the little Viking helmets, you can actually run through them with uh, Donkey Kong's rolling technique. If you have another Kong on top of you, or if you want to just roll as just Donkey Kong on your own, you can do it too. Now, this I can't do anything about. unless I don't know if you can duck. I don't know if you could duck or not. I don't think you could. If you can, feel free to tell me in the comments, because, I mean, I will... I will admit, if I 
am able to duck, or if you are able to admit that I can duck under that, then I'm willing to go ahead and say, okay, yeah, my my bad. All right, good job. And it looks like we only need, I think, two more hits on him. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, jump over that. Jump over that. Good job. Okay. Okay, more feathers. Watch out for those feathers. All right, more feathers. Just dodge them. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay. Ah, more of you guys. Okay. Now, if you don't want to have to go ahead and roll through them, you can always just wait until they touch down. And there will eventually be some of them that actually come down in their little egg shapes and everything. Like right there. Let's try to get one of those. What? I passed right through him. That time I didn't. All right. We should get him. There we go. And we got a heart. That's what we definitely needed. Oh, now he's really mad. Giant egg. Watch out. Giant egg. Giant egg. Watch out. Watch out, Donkey Kong. Whoa. Oh, my God. Why did I do that? All right, let's jump on top of him. There we go. And bam. Bam, bam, bam. And we defeated him. Awesome. How many hits did we get on that? 22? No, 23. Awesome. And, of course, as you guys know, whenever you beat the boss, you will unlock some new music and some new figurines will be in the shop. So, guys... That was it of uh, World 2, so we're now going to be heading in, I believe, to uh, World 3, I think. I think we are. Yep, we sure are. So let's go ahead and head on to, or blast on to, World 3, which, oh boy, it looks like we're in Africa. Awesome. And we'll be heading on to the next episode, which will be Grassland Groove. So guys, stay tuned, guys, for the next episode. See ya!